Good morning, boys and girls. Have you ever, your parents ever told you something that you, they said, you may not do this. And what did you do? You did it. And what happened then? Yes, you got into trouble. Now, today's true story is about a man who was told, you may not do this. And he did it. He went ahead and did it. And he was thrown into jail. Now, this person's name was John Bunyan. And in 1660, on a very cold morning, John Bunyan did what the people told him he may not do anymore. They said to him, John, if you ever preach again, talk to the people about Jesus, the good news about Jesus, then we are going to throw you into jail. But John Bunyan decided he's not going to listen to the people. He said he, he must go and tell people about Jesus. So that morning in 1660, that cold morning, he went to a church. The people said to him, please come and preach to us about Jesus. And he went. He went and told them about Jesus. And, and as he started preaching to them about Jesus, in came the constable, in came the police, and they took him they, uh, they caught him and, and took him to jail. Now, John Bunyan was thrown into Bedford jail. And the reason why he was thrown into jail, because he, he was preaching at that time in England, there was a law that said, you can only preach in the big church. You may not preach in anywhere else. And the people that the government approve, they might, can, may preach. But otherwise, you may not preach. So John Wambanyan was, was thrown into jail because he said, that's wrong. People can decide where they want to hear about Jesus. And people can decide also who they want to listen to, who will be their preacher. So John Wambanyan was in, in, in jail. And even though he couldn't preach to the people outside of jail, he started preaching to the people inside the jail and it wasn't long before he had his own little small church in the jail. So we see, boys and girls, that even here in jail, John Bunyan preached about Jesus. And it doesn't matter where we are. It doesn't matter what happens to us. We can always speak to people about Jesus. Jesus. Now, one day, the prison guards came to John Bunyan and said, you can go free, you can go home now, but then you must promise us that you will not speak to people about Jesus. You won't preach anymore. That's all you've got to do. You, you, will, you must promise us you will keep quiet about Jesus. But John Bunyan said, how, how can I do this? How can I promise you this? Because this is what God wants me to do, is speak to the people about Jesus. So the prison guards got very angry with John and they said, don't you understand? We can send you away out of this country, England. We can stretch your neck, meaning that they could even hang him for what he was doing. And John Bunyan said, it doesn't matter. I'd rather stay in, in jail then keep quiet about Jesus. Because John Bunyan loved Jesus. And he followed Jesus and he, he wanted to speak to all the people that he know and about Jesus. How much do you love Jesus Christ, boys and girls? How much do you love him? Now, John Bunyan just loved reading his Bible. And later on, he knew it so well that he started writing books and tracts for people. His friends will come and they would print the books and the tracts and they will distribute it for, for the people. Now, the last book that John Bunyan wrote in jail was called The Pilgrim's Progress. And the people just loved the story about Christian because John Bunyan wrote a special in a special way about the Christian's life. And many people read it and enjoyed it so much. People even from other countries 
like uh, France and Holland and Germany and America. And many people, millions of people still love reading John Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress. They see it as good Christian literature. And boys and girls, I hope that you also read good Christian literature. Yes, boys and girls, John Bunyan was thrown into jail because the people said, we must keep him quiet. He, he may not speak to other people about Jesus. But God used John Bunyan, Bunyan's writing ministry to reach millions and millions of people people. God was in and is still in control. And we must remember Romans 8 verse 29 that says, everything happens for the good for those who love Jesus. So boys and girls, if you're going through difficult times, then just think about John Bunyan, that even as he was going through difficult times, God made him a blessing for other people and God can make you a blessing for other people also.